Hey everyone, Jim T. Graham with rcgroups.com and today I'm going to do an unboxing. Check it out, it's gigantic. Let's put my hand in for a scale reference. This is the new Hot Trigger. It's from Grotner USA. It is a high performance foam aircraft and uh, maybe if I'm cool I'll throw some specs up in the video right now that you can look at. I'll just stand by while those magically appear. Awesome. Okay, now I'm going to attempt to open the box and stay in frame because the box is so dang big. All right. So the first thing we have here, wow, man, is a graphic sheet sticker sheet look there's a motor very awesome i was just photoshopping a motor on a quadcopter minutes ago and here's one for the airplane tearaways checkerboard very awesome i asked for the red white and or the gray maybe white and red version more very cool i'm going to put that to the side for now big big stuff Here's all our red decals to go on the Hot Trigger 1400S. Carefully lay these over here. All right, all right. All right, now, it appears that the instructions are on the bottom, as you can see. I'm doing a full review on RC Groups, so you will also see this on a web page. But this is just a video to look at what comes in the box. Everything is nicely uh, wrapped. So here we have the elevator group, and the tail group. Oh, I'm charging batteries back there. I don't know if you can hear that. So everything seems to be pre-installed. And we have nice uh, fat control horn right here big surfaces for that high alpha 3D low speed maneuvering. Very cool. And the EPP feels interesting. We can go into more depth on what it is exactly. It is very EPP like. It's smooth. It's not foam like in any manner. It feels moderately tough. The only really way, the only real way to figure that out is the, after the first real hit into the ground that it takes. The thing about this kind of stuff, and uh, we'll know more what kind of glues we can use on it to fix any problems based on what kind of foam it is, but um, foam tack is always good. Here's our rudder. Everything's pre-installed, all the hinging. And it's T-barred in, so it's not going to slide out. I don't know if you can see that or not. So there's our nice uh, control horn right here. Looks like everything's going to fit in with screws and just pop in. I've got a feeling the build on this is going to be super fast. The real trick is going to be where to put all this stuff. Okay, next. Let's see if there's anything else. Wow, look at that. That, my friends, is a real manual. You don't really see this anymore. Um, I dealt with Gropner. Here's my face, by the way. Hello. I dealt with Gropner back in my Hobby Lobby days. This was back when Hobby Lobby was a kind of an electric pioneer. And Gropner always had great stuff. They always had big fat catalogs. And um, this is definitely right along the lines of a Gropner, what you would expect. Of course, it's got every language known to man inside of this manual. So that's why it's thick. We'll get back to the unboxing now. All right, all right. Here's something, ah, oh, the landing gear. Look at this, you know somebody somewhere really cares about this stuff. To pack it this well. I do not have a razor blade on me. All right. And I'm gonna be careful unbox, or uh, pulling it off so as not to break anything. Although I will say everything so far feels very tough. 
secure. Look at that. So it's aluminum landing gear. This is all pre-built, it's all in there, and then it goes up over here. I'm sure this is so you can put a decal on it. I bet if you wanted to paint this, you can do that as well. Two screws in, very nice, feels really big and solid. All right, I think we're gonna remove, can you see in there? We'll remove this piece, which is glued in, but I keep these things, by the way, I use them a lot for random things, mounting cameras, things like that, okay. Here's a wing tube, awesome. What do we have here? Oh, I think I should have brought a trash bag in with me. <laughs> Hold on. Here we go. I could have unboxed and then done a fake unboxing, but really, how much fun is that? Oh, I know what this is. I wasn't sure at first. I sure hope I have an extra prop or two laying around. Uh oh, okay, watch out. Um, I'll be right back. This control rod just fell out of there. So be aware, I'm assuming that was living in there. I'd also assume there's gotta be another one somewhere. I will set this right here in a handy place. Could have fallen out of the box. So anyway, this was a lot of work to get this prop. What is it? It's a 13 by four. Uh, everything's installed. I've never seen that in the history of all the years I've been doing this. I've never seen a prop come with uh, the hardware already on it. Crazy. Awesome. Good. Don't get me wrong. I like it. Okay, we're going to break this cross member out. And I'm assuming we have ourselves a wing here. All right, there's something floating around in here. Let's see what that is. I'm also going to keep an eye out for any more control rods. What in the heck is this? I don't know. Okay. Look at that surface. That is a control surface. We've got our servo wire. We have, uh, I believe, what is their unique locking mechanism to lock the wing on. The wing tube goes in here. And then this thing pops up. So I think you pop this up, slide it on the wing tube, and then you lock it down. And then here's the servo built in. It already has a cover on it. That's very cool. It's already connected to the uh, control arm. This thing's ready to go. I really think the build time on this will be minimal. So we'll carefully put this aside. And wing two, I'm going to assume it's just like wing one. All right, now, usually the coolest part, I don't know why I'm yelling. Be careful, look at this big boy. Holy cow, man, not small. Not little. It's as big as a guitar. Bigger. Let's see what we've got under here. I'm going to have to get a wider lens. Our bigger studio. I want to thank Manny. Manny is uh, who I deal with and I'm pretty sure is the head honcho over at Grotner USA. Uh, real nice. I see him every year at Toledo. And Oh, drop something in there. Oh, okay. Be careful. The canopy is in here and it's not connected. So, lean down and grab it. Okay, I'll put that aside. So here's the fuse. Good looking front end. This is where your tube and your wings are gonna snap on. Look at that cockpit. It's pretty awesome, moderately scale. Very cool. 
servos, rudder, elevator already installed. There's a servo right here. We have our really large control arms for those 3D throws right there. Everything's ready to go. All right, all right. Let's look at the bottom. This is where your fuselage, or your fuselage. This is where your uh, your landing gear is going to go. Nice little, I guess, uh, exhaust bow exhaust outlet there. All right, and then there's a. Uh, Foam right here where the motor is poking out, already installed. I'm going to put that up there. And then, I'm assuming this is battery access. It's got nice plastic grabbers on there. Oh, it's not magnetic, is it? Check it out, it's not magnetic. It has uh, these plastic clips. So, that's for real this up here really so it already has velcro in there for your battery great part about that is you know where your battery is going to go um, this is not on too well this velcro so you're going to want to i'm going to foam tack that on also it runs on a 4s 2200 which i ordered off the internet you can't buy the batteries from Gropner. i got my turnages uh, i paid for them and got them on amazon from hobby king there's an ESC in here. It's loose, All right? There's an ESC down in the. You can't see it. There's an ESC down there. And then what else? We have uh, wires uh, to go to our elevator rudder. For our receiver, which I guess is going to live in this pocket right here. There's no receiver with this. Good thing to know. What else? I'm curious about this ESC. I have a battery connector here, so I guess the ESC is going to get Velcroed in here somehow. Well, not somehow. I'll just I'll put it in there some way. And then what else? I cannot see the motor, but I can see the motor mounts in here. So this is all ready, and then check out the canopy. Oh, I see. So here's your canopy, very awesome. And then there's double stick tape around the edge that you'll just peel off and lock that in. I've got to think there is a pilot in here too. So we'll put this on this side of the box. I gotta say, pretty awesome, pretty big. Now, there's only two things left in here. There's two little boxes. After the unboxing, I'm going to put this up on our YouTube channel, and then after this, I will do a, I guess, a build video. It may go together so fast it might not need one. So here's two foam nose cones. Uh, there's a screw. Oh, that's good. So there's plastic in the tip. These attach with the screw. I've seen these before that glue on. Those never last very long with me. And then finally one more box. What do we have? We have a tail wheel assembly. Steerable, yes. I'm going to assume that's a yes. And I have a piece of Velcro. I'm going to think for the ESC and or the, well, I've got two pieces of Velcro. One for the receiver, one for the ESC. I always find that white Velcro sticks better. Um, it's like they use a different compound. And then I have various screws and, and things here, which we'll find out what those go to. Screws are not good to me because uh, hopefully they go in once and they stay in once and I don't have to take them apart over and over again. If I do, I will then create a little uh, box that will live with this airplane and go with it everywhere it goes so that I always have that. Okay, this is the unboxing of the... Can you do it? There's kind of a graphic of the Hot Trigger by Gropner. And here's the schemes. There's a red scheme and a green scheme. Man, I, I've never owned a green airplane. I saw one at the field yesterday and it was so good looking. 
All right, there we go. Next, I guess uh, I may do a build thread. If not, we'll go straight into the uh, the flying portion of the video.